hi guys welcome back to my channel so of course it's a new month which means it's a new primark haul i'm doing a bit early this month but i just found too many good things not to show you and i was meant to be doing a different i feel like i need to just address the ele elephant in the room i do have builders right outside my door um hopefully it should quieten down if it doesn't i obviously will stop filming but yeah just bear that in mind hopefully it doesn't get too annoying if it does i will stop filming and just film later tonight but yeah i was meant to be doing like a swimwear bikini haul um because i've ordered so many bikinis recently because well i thought i was going on like a beach holiday it turns out i'm not but i mean i'll still use them throughout the summer hopefully i have some good days in england um <laughs> so annoying but yeah i was meant to be doing that video today and a couple of the bikinis didn't actually arrive in time so i didn't want to just show you what i had so far because the bikinis that are like haven't arrived yet are so nice so i thought i'll save that video for wednesday so instead i'll bring you my primark haul a little bit early so yeah let me just get on with the haul okay like usual it's just gonna all in a really random order um the two things i have sat next to me because oh my god i'm obsessed i mean if you're on tiktok you probably would have seen this dress already because everyone has got it i think it's a zara dupe it is incredible so it's this it's got like kind of like a corset detail but it's not actual wiring which i love because i personally don't find wiring comfortable like i'm sorry who even wears proper wiring bras anymore because i rarely do but yeah it's this dress and then it's like ruched up here it's all ruched up and then it's actually really quite long and i'm pretty sure people have been saying it's a zara dupe and this was 16 pounds so i'm guessing in the zara the actual zara dress would have been at least 30 pounds that's a bargain and how pretty is it for the summer i literally think that's the most gorgeous dress i've ever seen i got mine in a size medium which i wasn't really sure about because it did seem like it would be a little bit tight but it is quite stretchy hopefully fingers crossed it does fit but yeah that was 16 pounds i'm also really hoping that the builders can't just hear me talking to my camera because that's a little bit embarrassing but especially because dan's not even here so i can't even be like oh yeah i'm just talking to dan but you know what? We've got to get on with it. We've got to film a video. Right. The next thing I got, and again, you would have seen these all over TikTok. And I'm pretty sure, I can't remember if it was in my last video or not, but I bought the green one. But I'll quickly show you the green one now, just in case I didn't show it in my last video. But they're basically these unitards. I'm pretty sure this was in my last video. But yeah, this is the mint green one. And it's just like these seamless, stretchy material. And I actually picked up the pink one this time because they have them in pink mint green and a blue and also i think a black maybe and maybe even a gray now but they are just the most gorgeous outfits for spring i put this on with like a denim jacket and like trainers so nice but yeah this is the pink one i get mine in a size medium which is a 12 to 14 which was the perfect fit when i tried on the green one it fit perfectly and they are 10 pounds they obviously are meant to be for like the gym and like working out but I'm sorry, how cute would that be just with a denim jacket in like spring, summer? I feel like that's going to be such a nice outfit and like really comfortable as well. Okay, so can you go into Primark and not get pyjamas? Because I don't think it's possible. So I picked up these ones because we may or may not be booking another Disney trip for this year, which I didn't think I'd say those words. Like I really didn't think that we were going to get to go away. Um, so many things have happened. So many plans have changed and we might be able to squeeze something in. So hopefully we're gonna go back to disney and i just thought these were fitting i feel like i manifested it with these because we hadn't officially decided at this point when i bought these yesterday but i was just like do you know what good vibes i'm manifesting it so yeah there's these cute flounder pajamas which i just think are so cute and then it comes with these shorts at the back like you'll be able to see there how cute are they i feel like you just need some like summery pajamas i feel like it's already getting to that point where it's starting to get like a little bit warmer and i mean i just get so hot i'm someone that always is i'm always hot i'm never cold so shorts and a short sleeve top is perfect for me but yeah i think these were nine pounds yeah nine pounds so a little bit pricey for pajamas but they are disney so what can you expect really does anyone else agree with me here but i genuinely feel like the sandals in summer is where primark truly shines because oh my god it just gets better every year so i picked up these ones which they did have these last year but they've actually like changed the shape of them so they're slightly like thinner which i actually think looks a lot more flattering and they definitely did not have this color last time it's like a gorgeous green but like it's not a jade green but it's also not like a mint it's like almost like a dark mint green but yeah i love them and they were only five pounds and they're actually quite spongy as well which i love so i picked up them in a size five and then i also picked up these sandals which i feel like i'm not gonna be to everyone's taste but me and my mum both love them i think my mum probably got them as well actually but they're just these little gold sandals again really really spongy and i think these were also five pounds yeah they're up close i just feel like they're so nice and obviously you'll only see that bit i just thought they were really really nice for five pounds so yeah got two pairs of sandals okay 
I picked up a couple of pair, well, a couple of accessories. So I picked up these sunglasses, which I feel like I'm traumatised with sunglasses now because an ex-friend of mine said that no pair of sunglasses suits me and I feel like I've taken that to heart, but do you know what? That can't be true, surely. Or is it? It probably is, isn't it? I don't know how I feel about these. I said to my mum, oh, do these suit me? And she was like, yeah, they actually do. But do you know what? She's my mum, isn't she? So she's probably going to lie. But what do we think? Why do I feel like a minion or something? I just feel like it's, or like it's like a fancy dress. I don't know. It's so hard to tell with sunglasses because you just can't see yourself in them properly. But I picked up them. I thought they were really cute, but maybe they're not a bit of me. But they were £3.50. And then I also picked up these headbands because headbands are all the range at the moment. And I have a grey one and a black one and I wear them to death. I literally love them. And this one had like a little baby pink one in, which I loved. And these ones actually have, I don't know if you can see, but like kind of like a grip on that which is a really, really good idea, so they'll stay still. So yeah, for three of them, that was £2, which I didn't think was too bad. And then I also picked up this lipstick. I don't really know why, I just thought I quite liked the colour. It's like an orangey brown. It looks a lot more orangey in the shot. Maybe I picked up the wrong one, but it's from their Lustre range, which is like the like silky one, which I prefer rather than that. And that was 90p. So I'm glad to see that the lipsticks haven't gone up in price, 90p lipsticks, because 90p flip flops have gone to a pound and it actually did break my heart a little bit because that's just inflation for you, isn't it? But it's sad. I feel like inflation did not hit Primark flip flops all these years. And then this year it's just finally been hit by it and it's really sad. Okay, so I probably will show this in the bikini haul as well, but I might as well show you now because it's from Primark. So Primark bikinis as well. Another thing with Primark, I feel like their swimwear gets better and better every single year. Like they just up the game. So when I saw this, I was just like, wow. I mean, I feel like it's giving like, ibiza kind of clubbing holiday vibes but which is not a bit of me like i'm literally probably gonna go to disney um so yeah not really the right bikini for disney but if i ever do go on a beach holiday or just to sit at home I, do you know what? that looks really small now i'm just doing that and i'm like how is that gonna fit my boobs in but i just thought this was really really cute and the top was seven pound which i feel like that's quite pricey for primark i feel like they've definitely increased their prices on their swimwear as well and then these are the bottoms so this is the back so it's quite coverage not too coverage, but not too thongy, which some of the bikinis are literally like a pure thong. I ordered a bikini from Vinted. Um, obviously, it was completely like had the hygiene sticker and everything. Did not realise it is a complete thong. So I don't know if I'm going to be wearing that, but especially not at Disney and probably not on like family holidays. So I don't know about that. But yeah, this one's not too thongy. And I got the bottoms in a size 14. I don't know why I didn't get the top in a size 14, but hopefully they do fit. The bottoms were five pounds, so twelve pound for a bikini. I suppose that's not too bad because you'll end up paying a lot more than that at other shops. But for Primark, I feel like that's definitely gone up in price. And then I picked up this play suit. I didn't get too many clothes because I have so many clothes. I don't need that many clothes. But I picked up this play suit. I actually think this is gorgeous. It's kind of like their basic kind of range, which again gone up in price. And I sound like a broken record. I probably sound so miserable, like just talking about the price all the time, but stuff like this does annoy me but yeah i actually thought this was gorgeous like i really love the pattern i feel like if there's a lot going on but i love it i feel like the purples and oranges look so good together so yeah i just thought that was really nice and easy for the summer and it's just shorts yeah i just thought it was so nice and i got that in a size medium and that was 10 pounds i feel like that definitely would have been like eight pounds last year but let's stop being moody and just get on with the haul because it is gorgeous some of this stuff I literally got at the start of April when I went to London and I don't remember getting it. Like, I'm sorry, I do not remember putting this in my trolley. My trolley? <laughs> Just been dowdy. In my bag. But it's a butterly smooth... Dan's just got in <laughs> one second. He's talking to the builders. I'm just going to carry on. Yeah, it's Bustly Smooth Peach Smoothie Fragrance Whipped Body Butter. And I just smell it and it just literally smells insane. Oh. This is when you need to be able to smell things through the camera. Like, that is just so good. I don't know why I picked up that up. I definitely do not need more lotions and potions. That was £3.50 and I just thought, I just like the look of it. Okay, another pair of shoes. I'm not going to lie, I did forget that I bought these. But I picked up these trainers. I'm pretty sure they are dupes of the Nike Dunk because they have, like, this bit here. They had these in, like, a mint green, a black. I'm pretty sure they had a black. And I just thought the baby pink was so good. And if you know me, like, if you're friends with me, you know... I have one pair of trainers and I wear them to death. Obviously, where I'm living at the moment, muddy all the time. They're covered in mud. All my friends like absolutely rinse me because everywhere I go, I leave a trail of mud, even when I'm wearing my trainers. So I have my wellies and then I have my trainers, but even my trainers now are just really muddy. Um, and I just thought it's about time I actually buy myself a new pair of trainers. And I'm not one that buys like actual brands like Nike, Adidas. I, I'm not one that can justify that. I don't. I know I spend a lot of money like 
in like Primark all together, but I'm not someone that can justify spending a lot of money on like one thing, if that makes sense. Like I know that I get that it's like quality and stuff, but I'm just not not into I'm not into brands and I'd rather like get more for my money, if that makes sense. I know obviously it's not as good quality, but that's just me and I'd rather things that are like nice colours and stuff, but like not a brand, you know what I mean? So I'm really happy with these and the fact that they are dupes of Night Dunks. I feel like it makes it even better but yeah i just thought these were so pretty and they were 14 pounds which i don't think is too bad to be honest because some of trimark trimark some of primark's trainers are actually quite expensive i think so yeah i was really happy for these and i am very tempted to go and get the mint green ones as well imagine this with the unitard and then the mint green ones with the mint green unitard how cute would that look i'm not gonna lie i'm pretty sure i bought these for that exact reason and then with just a denim jacket chucked over the top that'd be so nice okay i'm now on to the last couple of bits so i did pick up these denim shorts because it's getting to that season and yeah especially if i'm gonna go away i'm gonna need a lot of things like this if i do go to disney this year i'm gonna like i say this now i said this last time but i'm gonna actually like make an effort because on my makeup last time didn't put a drop of makeup on my face for two weeks i packed all these nice outfits and i ended up wearing like jersey shorts and massive tops every day because it was just comfy but i am going to try this time to make a bit more of an effort <laughs> so i thought if i get some like denim shorts it makes it a bit nicer just like makes an outfit a bit more put together i did have to get a size 16 in this which is like two sizes up almost because they just looked so small even they look quite small so i don't know if that's like a mistake on primark or if just the sizing in denim shorts isn't great but yeah i did have to pick up a size 14 and they were 13 pounds which again like they're not the cheapest ones from primark because they definitely do cheaper ones than this but they are like nicer quality and they've got like the rips on the bottom and yeah i just feel like they looked a bit nicer and i don't actually have a pair of denim shorts in like the darker blue color okay on to the last couple of bits and they're really not that interesting but i picked up this pack of knickers because i didn't realize but i've got these exact pack of bras and i didn't realize there was matching knickers to them so i thought i can't leave them behind um so yeah i just got them size medium and they were five pounds and then i also just picked up some wipes because again i can't go into primark without picking up wipes i go through them quite quickly i do try and well i do use a cleanser but i get like the bulk of my makeup off with a wipe and then use a cleanser so well, to be fair, they do last me quite a while because you get like a twin pack in there. So, and they're only a pound. So, yeah, not every product trip, but every few product trips, they're just a really good place to get wipes. I get the clear and cool ones. I just know why. Because they've got tea tree and witch hazel in. So, I feel like they're good for like more like spot prone. I am now just sat in a pile of Primark stuff. But you know what? I'm not mad about it. I need to now go and make lunch. And I'm not going to lie. As soon as I press stop on this video, I am getting my excel spreadsheet out and i am making a disney budget because if it's gonna happen we're gonna be doing it on a budget this time because listen last time we went full out it was our first holiday all together and we actually got engaged and it was just amazing we're definitely not going doing it like to that extreme again like we're not going to go for as long and we're gonna be really like budget friendly so yeah i need to like full on get my spreadsheet out and actually budget and then decide for certain if we're gonna do it so in my next video I might be talking about it a lot because I might have actually booked it, but I will let you know. But yeah, if you love Disney content, then definitely subscribe. I mean, I do have a playlist of Disney vlogs from last year, but I'm not going to lie. They're not that great. I was very new to it at that point and I was just filming on my phone. I am buying a camera soon, so my like videos will just improve. And I feel like I just know what I'm doing a lot better now and I'm a lot more confident now. Whereas last time I was very much like with the camera like, oh, I don't want anyone to see me, but um yeah anyway i hope you enjoyed this primark haul thank you so much for watching and if you did enjoy please leave a like and subscribe i really really would love to hit a thousand subscribers before i do go to disney which would be september so fingers crossed i'm manifesting i'm not that far away now but yeah thank you so much for watching and hopefully i'll see you in my next video bye